Hey, you guys. Sir, this will probably be a bit of a long video. Thought I'd do a chit chat one. I feel like I haven't done one in a while, even though most of my videos are long and chit chatty. <laughs> so I'm lying to myself and to you. But, anyways, um, yeah, I. I've uploaded a couple of videos this week. I uploaded a Dollar Tree haul. Um, and I uploaded, oh, a haul from Whole Foods. Where did I go? Whole Foods and then two local markets from Chicago, here in Chicago. And so those are up if you're interested in those videos. Um, I've been watching other YouTube videos, other YouTubers. Because when I see stuff in the in the Dollar Tree, uh, I like to go and see if someone else has hauled them. Um, maybe I want to review on them or maybe I just want to see if it's reached their stores yet or if it's been out there and it's just new to me. And so like when I hauled that, um, the Hot Wheels Guardians of the Galaxy, the little cars, and when I uh, hauled the good to grow juice that has a little Darth Vader top on it to me those were awesome finds I didn't see anyone else mentioning them so so yeah I don't know if they're not hot items or if or if they just haven't reached other stores um, but speaking of like just this video I just thought I would um, Mention stuff like that, like what's been going on this past week. So like those are my cool finds this week at Dollar Tree. Um, I have some other topics that I want to just talk about. And I will put them down in the description box. I'll try to go like one topic at a time and do a timestamp on them, I think is what you call it. And that way if you want to just hear about that topic then you can like fast forward, you know what I mean? Um, and reminder, a big part of why I have my channel, why I'm on here is because I, I like the sense of community and I like the sense of communicating back and forth with each other. Um, so like this past, I think, I think just in this past week, I went something from like two subscribers to 15 subscribers and to me that's a big deal it's totally awesome and so I'm loving that but uh, you know if you're not interested in these types of videos that's cool if you are and you want to give me your feedback your thoughts on these topics that I'm going to be talk about talking about yeah message me comment down below uh, like this video it's it's all great so I guess back to what I had started talking about Dollar Tree uh, videos and uh, hot items so yeah I had thought uh, maybe I'll do a video on like what's hot in the Dollar Tree right now and I was like oh I don't know because I kind of did a video what was it last week where I did um, like five wish list items and five, uh, my five top, uh, top five items. So I was like, eh, it's kind of similar to that. So I don't know. So I think I'm just going to throw some in here, like as a chit chat. And then you, of course, let me know, like maybe what your cool finds have been this week or of all time, or what you think are really hot items right now. So, like, I think one, for instance, is the coffee candles. I think they're the Airwick brand. I'm not sure. I have my laptop here in front of me. I could check. But <laughs> funny story is last year when I was hearing all the buzz about them, I thought they were these other kind of uh, candles. Let me bring it real quick. Um... Ooh, sorry, I thought it was these candles. 
Candle Cafe. This one is in Caramel Macchiato. And it has like the little, I don't know if you can tell, like the little, like when you get the disposable um, coffee cups. Still smells good. Um, and this is glass. So I, the whole time, this whole time, I thought they were talking about these candles. And they even have, um, you probably can't tell, but decaf milk, shots, custom syrup, drink, caution, container will be hot while burning. Um, and so I had these like by my little coffee station. I just thought they were cute. And um, so anyways, the whole time I thought they were talking about these candles in which I did burn one of them and it did smell very, very good. But I realized this whole time they were talking about those other ones, like the Frappuccino or whatever. It has the dome top. So anyways, I see everyone hauling those again this year. And so the thing is, at least a month ago, probably longer, I saw them in my store, those Airwick ones, I think they are. Whole boxes of them. And I passed them up because I didn't think those were the ones that everyone's saying are like the best candles Dollar Tree has ever had. So, yeah, if I see some, I will grab one, two of them, but that's, that's my little story there, um, but, you know, hmm? I have my little Jack Skellington drinking a smoothie, mm. not exactly a smoothie, I guess it's more of a milkshake, it's the Khalifa, Khalifia, um, almond milk from Whole Foods, one banana that's not, it wasn't fully ripe and I've, I've read that you want to use fully ripe bananas to get like the full benefits from it, but one banana, almond milk, some cinnamon, and some frozen peaches that I purchased um, at Dollar Tree, just because I wanted to, um, use them up because I purchased some more frozen fruit from there. So ready to, to use those up. Um, what other hot items? Mm. Oh, those, the new nails. I think they're, I think the brand is Impress. Let me check. Um, the ones that I like are the navy blue and the maroon and they're matte. I like matte nail polishes. I mean, I like all nail, nail polishes, but those two for some reason, like, stood out to me. Um, let me see if I can find them on here. I think they're, I think they're the, um, like impress gel manicure and you don't have to apply any glue onto them they're supposed to be just wham bam thank you ma'am kind of a deal um so and there there's like all kinds of of colors and such that they have so i'm not finding it right away on here but i am looking at prices for them and they're like seven eight dollars a pop so, purchasing them at the Dollar Tree is for sure um, a great deal. So, yeah, here's one of them. It's Impress Gel Manicure. Yeah, and they I guess it's the blue. The ones that I like are the matte blue squared. And they have um, gold glittery accents to go with them. And then the other ones, yeah, are these, this like maroon burgundy color. Um, so totally cool, totally cool. And then I think, um, like one of the notes I'll say for those is some are squared, like a squared nail and some are oval. So if you don't like one or the other, you want to be, um, you want to be sure that you're getting the, the right, um, cut. You know what I mean? I think they're Kiss brand. It looks like they're the Kiss brand, but the particular line or style, whatever, is Impress. So, hey, 
there's that. So I know that I know nails are always a hot item. I buy them now and again and I never use them. Um, and I've even bought the ones that are just the sticker. Like they're not nail, they're just the, the just like the paper sticky or whatever. And I bought those um, not only to use as nails, but to use like in my planner or as stickers. So, um, or I guess you could even use them like as little tabs for your planners. So I've thought of that and I know other people have thought of doing that I also. Um, what else? This isn't, I, I mean, it, it was a hot item. I don't think it's so hot anymore because they came out a while ago, but the again the kiss brand the eyelashes there were a few months where and i when i was not regularly visiting the dollar tree and i think during that time was when these eyelashes came out and so i totally miss the boat on that and but like i've said before um eyelashes hair ties bobby pins like dance related stuff performance related stuff i'm always like, I'm always on the lookout for that. So, and I know they have the Diamond brand eyelashes in there. I want to check the price on those, the regular price. price. The Diamond eyelashes in there. And in my store, when I went, what day was it? Sunday, I think it was. Oh, no, no, no. I went on Saturday. Um, they had the whole, like a whole display of them. Just tons of them. And they were like on top of the aisle, you know what I mean? So if you weren't looking, you probably could have just passed them right by. But they have a thick band. And I'm pretty sure I'm not a fan of those. I like a flexible, thin band. That way if I want to, I can like curve them up or create like a straight band if I wanted to. Like more... Would that be more like an Asian style of eye? Um, but yeah, I I imagine like a thick band of eyelash will be harder to manipulate, you know, and like curve to your natural eye. I imagine. I'm like I said, I haven't used them, but um, yeah, I'm not. Uh, so I didn't grab them, but they had tons of of great styles. They had like I think six, seven, eight different uh styles of that diamond eyelash so yeah i don't let me see diamond lash fall eyelashes i'm on amazon let's see a price for them <sighs> come on amazon let me just look mm. they have a one two three four five they have a five pack for ten dollars so i'm not sure about i'm not sure about how much they would be just regularly like for one set hmm can't tell but there's there's that um so i know that's a hot item and i'm not sure if anyone has done a review on them if they've tried them that would be interesting to see if they work well. Um, I know... I don't think I've tried any of the Sashi and Chic eyelashes. Because I think they do have some. I never purchased the Elf eyelashes or the Wet n Wild ones. Because again, I'm pretty sure they have that thick band. So I just stay away from that. Um, what else is going on? Oh, I'll have to remember to mention her page in the description box. But I was watching YouTube videos. And a lot of times I watch them when I'm trying to go to sleep. And, um, and I just let them play kind of thing. Uh, the autoplay. Um, so one of the videos I was watching, her name is Valerie Mujica or Mujica. Sorry if I mis mispronounced her name, but she had a haul 
and she hauled this tote bag. Now it's not the regular tote bags that we see. Um, this one was a plastic. So it reminded me actually more of a gift bag. So I'm, I'm not sure how durable it is. But anyways, they had these little uh, coffees on them. Again, like cups of, cups of like the disposable coffee disposable coffee cups on them they kind of reminded me of the 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 one time like the single-use coffee cups that I see that I haul from from the Dollar Tree I don't know if you know what I'm talking about um, I haul those all the time but it looked like that design but on the plastic tote bag it's like a clear plastic and then the design was on them it was so cute and I mean I love coffee so um, not necessarily a hot item, but something that I'm like going to keep my eye, eye out on uh, for it. And I think tote bags in general are a hot item. Like there's that elephant tote bag out there that I think was probably hot before. And I think it was during that time, like I said, when I um, hadn't been regularly visiting the Dollar Tree. Um, but if I ever see one, I, I, I want... I love elephants. Um, but yeah. Oh, how about the Snackies cups? Hmm. Those are really cool. I want one. Um, I want the adult ones, the bigger one. But if I could even get a small one, I want. And I haven't seen them in my store. But it's very possible that they came in got snatched up in a few hours and they're gone you know what i mean so i also saw some oikos is it oikos that greek yogurt and it has a little um what you call it section on the top with added toppings and stuff and those were in my dollar tree but i think i also saw them in whole foods for a dollar so I don't know if they're being sold like at discount because they're nearing expiration date or something I don't know what's going on with that um I don't know I, I wonder if it's even possible like like companies in a certain area maybe they put stuff out like you know get rid of this try to sell it and it's sold like at made like clearance price you know what I mean and it could just be like my little neighborhood area that it that it's happening to. I don't know. Um, but I I should have gotten some of those because I love those for a snack, you know, kind of thing. Oh, speaking of snacks, I um I I tried those H K and H K H K Anderson pretzels with the peanut butter filling i wanted to finish the whole bag of those i was hungry last night but it was so late and i thought you know i don't want to eat anything heavy or you know i just wanted something somewhat healthy <laughs> and so i opened those even though i didn't want to touch them i wanted to save them for like my uh, rehearsal days and stuff but i cracked into them and they're so good so i will definitely be keeping those on hand um what else what else um oh i think another hot item is that um sorry i have the windows open so i hope it's not distracting um i've seen the i think it's the duncan hines brand let me grab it real quick This one here, can you see? The perfect size. So this was in my haul video, but I think I know these are popular. People are picking these up, maybe just because it comes with a six-inch heart pan. But yeah, I haven't I haven't tried that one yet, but soon I think soon. And you know, I think that's. That's all I'm going to mention about Dollar Tree hot items. I mean, there's plenty, plenty.
plenty more out there. All the elf items, those are still hot. People are still picking those up. There's just like so much. All the, anything Halloween, fall, Christmas, that's all hot. Um, but yeah, be sure to let me know down below what you consider to be the hot items right now. Um, let me know what your favorite finds have been either now or ever. You know, I really don't care when. <laughs> Just throw your thoughts down there. So yeah. <sighs> Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I am considering I had thought of doing some like a review on all the Dollar Tree baby wipes, baby wipes, wipes, facial wipes, anything like that. But I haven't tried them all and I think it's going to take me a while to try them all. So I'm thinking I'll probably do more like um like Dollar Tree beauty kind of thing or even cruelty free items that you can find at the Dollar Tree because a lot of my um, beauty related items from the Dollar Tree are cruelty free so I think I'm gonna like bunch it all together that way until I actually have tried all the wipes there at the Dollar Tree um, on another note Dollar Tree related I've been uh, burning that baked pear candle and it does not seem to have as much of a throw as the peach bellini and also the other candle that I purchased the marine mist it's like a light blue also old Williamsburg candle with a little like corkscrew top that one also seems to not be as strong as the white version of that candle uh, which I can't remember what the name of it is. I think it's sea salt and something. Um, but I'm still gonna, you know, test them out. A few more tries. See how it's going. Um, but so far, hmm. I'm not totally disappointed. Like that marine mist, it still has a throw. But it's just not as strong as the other one. And um, yeah, this baked pear. I'm not, like I've been burning it. Um. Like at the start of this video, I lit it and I can't smell anything and I'm right here. So, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. Mm. What's this? Oh, I got a, I just got a message from one of the organizations that I work with. I guess we could segue into that topic then now I only have a few minutes left on my memory but um yeah yesterday was rough last night was a particularly rough night for me and it's been a pretty rough year in general I mean it's been good and bad um and I thought last year was rough but um so yeah so last night I had I got some bad news so I'm um, coping with that and then also this group that I work work with um, another group organization things there are not going well at all and by this time I, I had hoped things would be getting better and they're not um, yeah, I, um, eh, just not a, not, not a good feeling, you know, the good is out, I mean, the bad is outweighing the good, um, and it's been going on for a long time, and so, yeah, it's been very stressful, <laughs> very stressful, uh, very heartbreaking even, and so, I don't know. I hope I hope in the end things work out. 
in a in if um I hope no matter what things move forward smoothly and professionally. <laughs> you know what I mean? When you're working with other people, that's that's what you hope for at in at the minimum, you know, in the least. You don't want any drama. You don't want any ugliness. Uh, you just you just um, try to respect one another. Um, and so part of part of my problem is I'm not I don't feel valued. You know, I feel like I'm asking for too much in their opinion and others' opinions. And, and I'm, I'm at the point where I feel like, okay, all this time, energy, all of this effort spent in this one direction, I could be spending that somewhere else where it may be much more appreciated. So, eh. Like I said, this has been going on for a long time and it just seems like in the past few months it's like like really, really gotten worse. So again, if you have any uh I'm not I know I'm not saying directly what's going on in details and the whole thing, but if you have any thoughts on on topics such as that where you're not feeling valued <laughs> Where you feel like, oh, I need to close this door so that I can open another, I, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, talk about it down there. Let us let us all know. Um, like I said, I really want, I'd really like my channel to be a space where we, where we talk and you know share information, share uh, thoughts and just help each other out kind of thing so i think i'm going to leave it there you guys i think i'm gonna give myself another dose of this right here this is something that i would mention in my um like my dollar tree i, I would put this in with beauty and like toiletries i guess you know um what is it Arthritis in sport with winter green, Epsom salt plus alcohol for rubbing and soaking. So yeah, this item like uh, yesterday I had taken a nap and my neck was killing me. I it might have been because I have a injury there and it also might have been because I slept wrong. But I grabbed some of this. I just pour a little in my palm and rub it around there um, in a few minutes. The pain was gone. So, yeah, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's all this or if it was, like, just massaging that area that made it feel better. But it, it calms me. It soothes me. So, yeah. <sighs> Feeling better already, you guys. <laughs> all right. Well, I did think that I would have more topics to talk about, but I think all my Dollar Tree info and um, chit chat took up most of the video. But hey, that's okay. Cause I probably shouldn't have gone into those other topics too much anyways. And at this point, I don't even remember what those other topics I thought of talking about were. So, peace out you guys. Um, I'll upload this video ASAP. Um, I'll probably also upload some kind of like a, a mini vlog video that I had from this past weekend. And yeah, you guys look out for that. Please share your thoughts. I hope y'all are well. Be safe. Thanks for watching. Bye.